I think, I think there's a, there's a, there's a fly stuck in this modifier. <laughs> well, uh, hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Kiron Bosman and uh, today we're talking about how we can edit photos in Lightroom to a color palette. So we, what we're gonna do is we're going to download a color palette and we're gonna match all of those colors to one of the color palettes that we chose. So just before we get into it, uh, the reason why I want you to, to practice this approach is this is what's going to enable you to learn a style for your photos. So it's easy to go into Lightroom, plug in your photo, tweak around with your with your tools and then get an amazing result in Lightroom. But what makes a difference is when you have a color palette, you, you learn to develop a style for your photos. Okay, enough said, let's uh, open Lightroom and get into the edit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the reference mode in the developer tab so that we can ultimately put our uh, photo that we want to edit and our color palette side by side, which is gonna make our edit so much easier. So we're gonna use the pink for the dog's mouth. We're gonna use the blue and the dark colors for the background and then eventually the gray for the white hair. Now, first things first, we are going to work with the tone of this photo. So we're going for a moody photo, right? This means it's a slightly darker photo and we've got a lot of blues in the shadows. So I'm gonna achieve this by creating a flat image. Reduced exposure, we decrease the highlights and the whites and we increase the shadows and the blacks. So here I'm also gonna reduce the temperature a bit to start adding our blue to the image. Now for the great part, and this is where the magic happens. We're going to go to our HSL and color tab and after that we're going to go to our color grading tab. Now starting with the HSL and color tab, we're going to change each dependent color to match with our color tab. So what I like to do is I like to play around with the tool and this shows me what area it affects. So in the cases where that color doesn't exist, we just simply remove that saturation completely. And then we're going to set the mood for the photo by going to the color grading tab. So seeing that I want this photo to have the look like it's almost shot in a dark setting, almost at night, I'm going to add a lot of blues to the shadows and add some blues to the highlights as well. I'm just gonna make some additional tweaks here to the calibra camera calibration. That's the very last tab. So there's some very interesting aspects about changing the saturation of, let's say your primary blues like I did here. This actually changes all of your colors and not just the blues. Photo editing is a iterative process. What I mean with this is if at some point you change the blues of your photo, and at a later stage, you add, let's say, a green tint to it, it's gonna add that green tint over the blue of your photo. So it means you need to go back and make sure that blue is actually the original color that you intended it to be. So what we need to do is we need to run through all of our settings one more time and just try and tweak everything to ex be exactly like we wanted. Now that we've set the, the, the theme for the photo, and we've got our color grade what we want it to be, the last and I want to argue most crucial part is to is to set where, where we want to draw our attention to the photo. So we've got a subject in the center of the photo. But the general rule is that lighter areas in the photo is the first thing that, that the human eye sees. So what we want to do is we want to enhance that subject of the photo and I'm going to do that through masking. In this case I'm going to add a radial mask and then just change the exposure and a little bit of the contrast and clarity in that radial mask. Just a little final touch I want on this photo is I want some more emphasis on his nose and on his eye, specifically his eye. So I'm gonna take the brush mask and then change that exposure and contrast on that even more. So after about five minutes of photo editing, this is our final product. Don't you just love these moody edits? I mean, it's a, it's a very unique style, but yeah, it looks good. I want to encourage you to try this and uh, start implementing it on, on, on each and every photo you take. Try and build a, a personal style for yourself. Eventually through it you'll find that I love, I really love the moody photos more than the, the bright, exciting photos or other way around. Through this you'll eventually see what, you'll find what you like and it's really going to change your photo game dramatically. Well, this is not only for aspiring photographers, anyone can do this. You don't need a DSLR camera to do this, you can take a photo from your phone and edit it, it's gonna make a difference. This is it for me now and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay bye!
<laughs> what you need to do is what I usually like to do is I I jiggle the the <laughs> my money don't jiggle jiggle.